Hello, Christian Livingstone here, and uh, I'm uh, gonna make this little video to, uh, you know, kind of uh, promote uh, the sale of these uh, two uh, pellet uh, pistols. Uh, they're highly modified. I modified these from uh, uh, Crossman uh, 1377 uh, variable pump action uh, pistols. They were inexpensive Crossman uh, pistols to, to uh, begin with and uh, about $70 at Walmart uh, per copy, but uh, these are highly modified. All the plastic parts have been removed and, uh, you know, it's got a new bolt and the new piston and uh, custom stock, custom trigger, custom sights up front and back. Uh, this uh, red dot sight, not a laser sight. You won't see a, a laser. You'll just see the uh, red dot in the sight. But uh, I put a, a different barrels on them as well, a lengthened barrel, you get more velocity, and uh, one of them's in uh, 177 caliber, the other one's in uh, 22 caliber. So, uh, you know, they're, they're pretty spiffy, and, uh, you know, I'm probably going to be moving, so this is just, these are some things that I haven't used much, so... I'm considering maybe uh, letting them go, uh, you know, at uh, a much reduced rate. Now, this is the one at, at 177, and uh, as you can see, it's uh, pretty spiffy, all right. And uh, just everything is uh, completely redone except the, the main body of it, the bolts, everything you see. None of the plastic parts uh, are there anymore. These are all custom niche uh, uh, parts that you can go online and get yourself. But uh, I've done it all. Uh, one of these, uh, you know, if you bought it from these custom shops, and there's a few of them around North America, where something like this would probably be 500 bucks easy. But uh, it's not going to cost that much. And uh, I'm going to sell both of them uh, at the same time in my local market here through a, a Facebook page. Uh, I'm not going to try too hard to sell them. If they don't sell, that's fine too. But, uh, you know, I've got uh, some extras too. Uh, a laser sight. This will uh, uh, sight in uh, uh, with the red dot scope. You just put it in the barrel and uh, it has a bushing for both the 177 and the 22 caliber. But uh, uh, you can sight them in uh, uh, quite nicely. And uh, I've got a... Uh, Oh, a pellet trap out there. I just shoot right from inside, right outside this sliding glass uh, door. And uh, that's at about uh, 30 yards out there. But uh, I suppose you could uh, uh, dial these in maybe to about uh, 50 yards uh, and be pretty good with uh, still some uh, velocity. There's uh, a lot of velocity uh, above the uh, standard uh, six or seven hundred uh, uh, foot-pounds per second that these uh, originally have. These uh, pistons are are all all new. These are Delron uh, pistons, and this one is not the same exact uh, uh, one. I think this is yeah, this is a, a brass uh, custom one with some Delron pistons and pieces in there and uh, O-rings, but uh, it increases the uh, velocity. There's uh, different springs in here too, so it'll accept more pressure. So you can uh, pump these uh, 12, 15 times if you really want to get a lot of velocity. I've never checked it with a, a gauge or anything to see the true velocity, but uh, it's quite good and, uh, you know, it's a pistol. And on the uh, 22 one, I uh, got a longer barrel because the, the more uh, length you have, the more velocity you'll get up to a point. I, I don't know where it actually drops off, but for the uh, 22 caliber, uh, it's a heavier uh, pellet, so you know you want a, a little more velocity. This, this thing will uh, bury pellets in, in uh, tree stumps quite nicely. The 22, it's a little larger, so you know you're not going to get quite as much penetration, but more knocking down power on. Uh, uh, you know, varmints. And uh, I just tend to uh, not use the uh, lead. I use a, a tin uh, aluminum uh, uh, zinc variety that's, uh, you know, non-toxic. Uh, just because, I, you know, if I'm going to shoot in one place for very long, I don't want a, a lead pile out there. So I just never use them. 
but they're lighter, so you'll get more velocity with the non-lead uh, pellets. You'll get a uh, higher velocity, but maybe lose a little accuracy because the uh, the wind uh, and, and it's not as heavy. So uh, you know, those are trade-offs, and you know anybody who's in the know about pellet guns understands that. So I'm gonna uh, leave it there and just. Uh, uh, conclude this little video so I'm not so much of a talking head. Okay? Thanks.